Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher David Lawson of NEPA, CDL NEPA. Today we're doing a video review of the Maytech heated gloves. Let's go ahead and roll the video. You think you know me. Burn it down! All right folks, today we're gonna to be reviewing a set of uh, heated gloves from Maytech. Uh, inside the box, obviously you're gonna find a pair of gloves these are the double x they come in a medium up to double x this is considered the yellow camouflage but they also have a white camouflage pattern um inside they have a nice little note again and these are 7.4 volt batteries with the charger and of course your instructions and also a bag to store your batteries in when you're not using the gloves let's talk about some of the features on these gloves first um, these are a unisex glove, like I said, medium up to double extra large, 7.4 volt, 3000 milliamp hours, um, pretty standard batteries for heated product. I've had these in the socks I just did a video for, other pairs of heated gear that I've done videos for. Um, there's three settings on the gloves, uh, 60 degrees Celsius, which will last you four hours of heating claimed, 50 degrees Celsius, which will last you seven hours claimed, and 40 degrees Celsius, which will last you up to 10 hours claimed. I haven't tested that out yet, but these are also windproof, waterproof. Um, there's also, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. There's a power display button on here that should tell you how long the batteries are at, I believe. Um, they have an anti-skid grip and they also are good for touchscreen. Uh, they're supposed to be wind and waterproof. These are the double extra large, like I said, these fit me very well. They actually have like a little scraper type thing here. I believe that'd be almost like a squeegee type thing, maybe for your glasses, or if you were like snowmobiling or something, you could kind of clear your stuff off your lenses. Um, they're very soft, they're very thick. Um, they recommend these for like climbing, cycling, skiing, whatever you're gonna be doing out in the cold. Um, I said, they're very soft. I haven't tried using them on the motorcycle yet, but they do have straps to tighten them down a little bit tighter. Uh, batteries will obviously be stored in here. The cuffs can be tightened down over top of your jacket when you're using them. Okay, folks, to install the gloves, the batteries will go in here. Pretty standard for most heated gloves that I've tested out in the past. Again, the 7.4 volt batteries, which are pretty standard in the industry that I've seen for products like this. Um, other than a couple pairs of vests that I've done videos for but Batteries install in there really easily. You like said you do it in both of them these batteries I charged them up overnight, so they were fully charged To do the video I have not tested these outside unfortunately because we have ice on the roads So I cannot ride motorcycle unfortunately with the ice We'll see if I can actually turn these on easy enough. These do not have an app like the socks I tested in the last video Hold the button down. There's the hot highest setting, I believe. Alright, I believe that should be the highest setting. I'm gonna leave it at that. Now I could actually feel these warming up really quick. Like I said, they are very soft. I think the material here will need to break in a little bit, but that's a good that's supposed to be good for grip there. You're supposed to be able to touch your touch screen with the fingers. So far they feel fairly warm. Like I said though, on the switch they have the percentage of the battery, I do believe. Let me click it down one. This is the next setting down for green. And the last setting down for blue, which the blue again is supposed to be, what did I say, 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I believe it was 40, 50, and 60 degrees Celsius. You do the math for switching it to Fahrenheit like we do in the States. But my hands feel very warm right now. I feel like I could uh, probably ride motorcycle with them a little bit. The controls may be a little difficult, but if you're on the highway and you don't have to uh, change gears a lot, like I said, they will probably need to be broken in a little bit before you actually use them for a lot of stuff. But they are soft. They are like a felt liner in there very warm like with the socks i tested before i left them on the highest setting for a while and they actually cooked my feet check that video out that was the last video i did on this channel but i feel like these would be very good like i said they're windproof waterproof 
Um, at the highest setting, they should last you up to four hours. Again, they're warming my fingers up really well. I can feel the heat mostly on the backs of the hands and the fingers, which is where you're going to want it if you're outdoors because your palms are most likely going to be protected. Let's see if I can actually shut the camera off with the touch screen. Folks, for my next test, I'm actually going to test how waterproof these gloves are. I've got some ice cold water here. I should be able to test out how waterproof they are. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be riding through the lake, but people always ask, how waterproof early are they? So I'm going to go ahead and put the gloves back on. I will actually turn the heat back on too. Hopefully, I don't get electrocuted while doing this, but you never know. Both gloves are completely on. This has actually got water in it, folks. I'm not BSing you. We're going to see how waterproof they are. I'll start with the fingertips and put them in the water. I'm hoping they're waterproof and not just water resistant. My hands are in the cold water. This is as cold as water as I could get out of the tap. I don't feel any water coming into the gloves at all. They feel like they're pretty... You can see that it's actually wet, folks. I only went up to the fingertips so far. But I don't feel any water coming in. My hands are still warm. I will go down a little further. That's what she said. Down to about just below the switch. I feel no water coming into the gloves at all, not even at the stitching, which is great. So I definitely say these are waterproof. I can feel the cold a little bit, but my hands are still fairly warm. I see you wring them out. Like I don't feel water coming into my hands at all. They're definitely waterproof, at least up to that part. And I was up past some of the stitching, so definitely a good product as far as the waterproof concerned. All right, folks, we found out they're waterproof. They're really warm. Um, Unfortunately, I can't test the windproof on there today, but if they're that waterproof, usually if they're waterproof, they're pretty warm with the wind and everything. So based on the performance of what I felt on these gloves alone, especially being waterproof and they're really warm, I would give these five stars. Um, I will not say they're the best gloves I've ever tested. I have a pair of gloves that I have worn on the motorcycle. They're a little bit thinner than this and they're a little bit warmer, but that is in no means a way of saying these are bad gloves folks feel free to jump on Amazon like I said they have yellow which this is this is the yellow camouflage they have a white camouflage those are the only two colors they have in this model of glove I will definitely give them five stars though like I said they're really warm I just can't go out and test the windproof unfortunately like I said there's all ice on the roads and these would be absolutely perfect for running your snowblower or even shoveling folks. tech gloves check them out I'll leave a link in the description Again, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. They did send these to me for free to test them out, and I'm not going to BS you on them if I didn't like them. I tell you, I didn't like them, but I'll say, though, they are very soft. There's still water coming off them from the test, but none of the water was inside the glove. Thanks for tuning in. I should have more products coming your way soon. Hopefully, I'll have motorcycle videos again really soon. Bye for now.